Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And everybody's ditching DEI. Good. Uh, we're going to talk about this. We actually did a video, I think it was last week or the week before, talking about how more and more companies are pivoting to MEI, which is uh, about meritocracy. And mm -hmm. there's been a lot of pushback against that because the people that have been pushing DEI for years are probably going to be out of a job, a lot of their diversity officers and whatever. But Microsoft, yeah, they blasted DEI. They laid off the whole team. They said true systems change work and it's no longer business critical to have a diversity, equity and inclusion team. Things are changing and they're changing very, very quickly. And I think a lot of these companies are starting to realize, well, one, they have to pivot to make a profit again. They have to make money. And two, that DEI uh, doesn't work. It, it really doesn't work. And it's actually not fair to the uh, minority groups that they're claiming to help with DEI because a lot of times they're hiring unqualified people, which now the joke is if you you hire diversity hires that they're not qualified and then right. everybody's and that's gonna not make fair the assumption who, that's not fair to people who are qualified no and um, i've mentioned this before at length so. you know uh, equal opportunity employment is a thing it should always be a thing that the most qualified person regardless of uh, you know gender race uh you know whatever should get the job and I, it looks like we're going back to that so let's talk about this this uh broke earlier today on business insider this is huge from microsoft Microsoft to come out and say, yeah, we're ditching DEI. That, that definitely says things are changing. So before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, you get woohoo if you do. Woo uh, we'll go to IGN. They're kind of lamenting it. And then we'll go to the original article here. Uh, Microsoft DEI lead blast company an internal email after the team is reportedly laid off. So yeah, the email first reported by Business Insider and cooperated by IGN was sent by the former lead of one of the DEI teams that got fired. In it, they state that their role and team were eliminated due to changing business needs as of July 1st. So it took a couple weeks mm -hmm. for this to come out. IGN has reached out to Microsoft for comment and as to the full extent and nature of these layoffs, but has not heard back yet. Uh, the email goes on to assert that DEI programs are in danger, not just at Microsoft, but across all businesses. Well, some people would say good. It's oh my God! They're trying to do the. Pro they're trying to tighten the project. Was it twenty twenty five or? Oh my God! Are they really? Yes. Oh geez. Okay. Here, here we go, guys. So this is again. And they bring up George Floyd too. Oh my God. So this is coming from the the fired Microsoft DEI employee, and I think I think these companies are looking at and they're looking at like the situation with Sweet Baby Yank, and they're like, because in a lot of ways these diversity officers have sort of become. You know, gatekeepers, uh, uh, extortionists. I, I mean, we know that with sensitivity readers and games and, and stuff like that, you know, tabletop games. You're going to find problems because your job You're going to find problems. It's it. your job. Your job is to find problems. Right? And I think in some ways, and we've mentioned it before, I think it actually causes more problems because it's putting – it's causing – um people to get their backs up against people they normally wouldn't. They're assuming if someone has a job, it's because they were DEI hire, which is a crappy thing to do because a lot of people are very qualified. So here's here's his uh, his email. And then we'll go out to what was he? Uh, he, she, they, them. Unofficially, in my opinion, not specific to Microsoft, but conservative policy plan. They have to put a link to it. Project 2025 looms and true systems change work associated with DEI programs everywhere are no longer business critical or as smart as they were in 2020. Hence the purposeful and strategic three to five year shelf life of many companies inclusion commitments post George Floyd are being reevaluated. Why do they need to put that in there? <laughs> Good. You yeah. have to get buzzwords. 2025, but George Floyd. Yep. The way I see it, the timing was impeccable, so businesses everywhere could reevaluate the path forward should their U.S. federal contracts be at risk if the work continues on, on its face. Now, I'm going to tell you what I think is actually going on here. This is my personal opinion. I think they were given a couple of years uh, to see if it worked. And I think it's, it's becoming apparent that it does not work, that, that they are in some cases hiring unqualified people and they're making things worse and they're, uh, anti-help. The people mm -hmm. they're hiring are anti-help. Now, do I think every business, uh, pardon my French fuck up is because of DEI? No, no. I don't. 
Um, I think they're overly blaming that. Yeah, but I do believe that in the mad rush to look diverse and inclusive, unqualified people were hired. And uh, a lot of the people that got hired, they're very active on social media and they mm-hmm. complain a lot. They complain about everything. These are the same types of people. Nothing's that, ever good enough. Right. They were taking three hour lunches at these tech companies oh, yes. and that, you know. But nothing's, you give them an inch, take a mile type people. Like, you know, you, nothing's ever enough. You need more, more, more. Yep. So Microsoft is just one of the numerous tech and gaming companies that made major commitments to to DEI a couple of years ago. Uh, of course, George Floyd. They're just bringing every damn buzzword they could think of. Yep. They said in the years since then, a number of tech companies such as Google and Meta have begun to make significant cuts to DEI programs. Yes, because they're realizing that they left uh, the termites into the house and they're starting to eat away at the foundation. And we hired a bunch of people that were not qualified and everything's going to shit. You know, and now they have to make money. And well, frankly, they a bunch of that were, or they probably had a bunch of people that were qualified who probably quit because they kept getting lumped in with people that weren't. Well, I could that could be the case too. Like I, you know, again, I always believe that the most qualified person for the job uh, should be hired for the job. But um, this is this is the story that broke. This come from Business Insider, and this is what uh, he's reacting to. So Microsoft laid off a DEI team, and its lead wrote an internal email blasting how it's no longer business critical. Um, so yeah, it, it was on the down low. That's what's interesting. Um, they did reach out to Microsoft and they said our DNI commitments remained unchanged. Our focus on diversity and inclusion is unwavering. We're holding firm on our expectation, prioritizing accountability and continuing to focus on the work. Um, so what, what's going on is that in a lot of cases that the DEI is, being rolled into like human resources, I right. think. Right, like where it should have been. Like you, where it you, you know, should where have you been. Just hire people based on qualifications. Yeah. I mean, that's what's going on. They don't need a whole DEI when they're just training HR to do the same job, you know. And they said that they usually this time of year make cuts. Yeah, they have to make cuts. And look, it's survival of the fittest, and the fittest is the most qualified person regardless of gender, race, ethnicity, whatever. And I think there's also lawsuits. I think, you know, we're, we're looking at Disney and we're looking at how it's coming out that they actively would not hire white men, straight white men for jobs. And if they can prove that, that there is a, a bias at companies to not hire, as they call it, the, the usual suspects, then I think we're going to see a bunch of lawsuits. And the best way to avoid problems all the way around is just be like, we are equal opportunity employers. We will hire anybody as long as they're qualified, and we're going to look at the most qualified candidates and go from there. But this is a good out, and this is this is kind of goes along with what's going on in Hollywood right now. They're cutting a lot of shows, and you look at the shows they're cutting, it's the stuff that they greenlit during the mad dash to look progressive. Uh, you know, 2020, oh, anti-racist baby and this mm-hmm. and that. You know, all that stuff is getting cut because nobody's watching it. Nobody there's cares. no money in it. There's no money in it. And it actually causes a lot more problems than it than it, than it corrects. And and we noticed this before they actually came out and said that they were doing this. It seemed like a lot of the people that were getting cut at these companies were basically DEI hires. They're people that were like, or they're activist minded. They're they're anti business. And I think that what they're doing is they're using, you know, the macroeconomic headwinds to to purge companies of activists who are not there to help you make money, not there to just do their job and whatever, but they're there to actually affect change and then go brag about it on social media mm-hmm. and then try to to force your company to do things that it has not done in the past just because you, at 23 years old, uh, think that this company should do this particular thing, even if it costs them millions or hundreds of millions of dollars. And, and, and we've seen it time and time again. This is the only way the companies are going to go back to making profit is, is just, you know, cutting this kind of shit and just following the consumer like what does the consumer actually want and i think a lot of it was tied to venture capital too a lot of you know we talk about the esg money and all that and that's a whole another rabbit hole but like that's gone you can't just dip into to more venture capital now so a lot of these companies are cutting they'll say oh well your job was subsidized by you know this grant or this you know whatever loan we took out from blackrock or whatever um but that that money's gone so now they're like, well, shit, we got to make money. So let's let's get rid of these people, you know, and that's what's going to happen. We're going to see a lot of this, uh, I think. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Nope. Oh, okay. You said everything I pretty much said or would say. 
Okay, because it's, it's pretty cut and dry, right? Yeah, uh, it's the same thing we've been saying. Pivot to profit. Yep. Uh, we're going to wrap it up. Please yep. subscribe. We will talk later. Bye.